can't find the words, I just go I don't like it, no, I love it Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Adrian here and you are watching Bright BD14. So in this video, I'm going to be doing another summer theme video and it is a things to bring to a theme park and an outfit that you could possibly wear. So these are kind of things that you um, should bring and like um, maybe just think about bringing that could make your time at the theme park a little more fun and easy. So I'm going to start out with things you could bring. So I would definitely recommend bringing a backpack because a backpack will just help carry anything that you need and it's bigger than a purse but it's still easy to bring around with you on your back and definitely bring one that you like, something comfortable and that you think will just be easy for you to bring around. Definitely a smaller backpack that you use more for traveling. I'm pulling out a sweater and a sweater is definitely a good idea if you're staying there for a long time and you realize that it gets a little cold. It's better to just bring something than be really cold and not really enjoy your stay. And if you do go through some water on a ride or anything like that and you feel really cold, it's definitely a good idea to just have something to keep you warm. Next, I have a little travel bag. This is from Ipsy and I think it's just a good idea to have one of these because if you have small things that you wanna bring around with you, you don't have to lose it in your bag. You can just have it in a nice little bag. That's also pretty cute. Opening this up, I have an icebreaker case and this is to keep my headphones in so this is a somewhat DIY all you have to do is take the sticker off of your icebreakers if you kind of want to make it look more plain and not like an actual candy case take the sticker off take your headphones fold them in half wrap them around your finger make a little ring and then slip it into your icebreakers case in the largest section once you pull them out you can just unwind it super easy just grab one end and let it roll out and really really simple and you don't have to go through all the frustration of tangled headphones that I know we all hate. Next I have a pair of sunglasses and this is just a really simple pair. This is definitely not my nicest pair. I actually lost my favorite pair of sunglasses which makes me really sad but I'm gonna get a new one soon so <laughs> but I love those. Um, but yeah these are just like a random pair that I got at a concert and actually fun fact I literally tell everyone this when I have these um, One Republic actually signed these which is really cool I got them signed in grade 6 so memories and fun fact another fun fact number two when I saw them I was like hey are you famous they're like yeah I'm like who are you they're like One Republic I'm like okay uh, still didn't still not knowing who they were could you sign these so I had no idea who they were and that they were this famous but got their signatures so so that's pretty cool but definitely sunglasses are good because usually you're going on a sunny day that's warm so you don't want your eyes to be blinded so yeah next portable charger and your charging co, co bleh, bleh? Portable charger and your charging cord is definitely an essential for me because your phone is definitely important when you're in a big place like that or well, you, whether you want to take pictures, you maybe get lost, you need to call someone, anything like that, your phone is a good idea, your, your phone is something good to have and if it dies on you, that's definitely not good at all. So I just have this little portable charger. It charges up to, I want to say 60%, like if your phone's at zero, it'll charge to 60, which is good for me because I feel like 60 is definitely enough just to make a call or two so um yeah this is a really random one it's called pocket juice I got it from Old Navy definitely not the best one out there $15 though it works it's it's still good to have though next thing I have that is definitely an essential water this is empty but a water bottle with water reusable because plastic water bottles like the non reusable ones when they are heated the plastic little germs and all the things from the plastic like chemicals and stuff melts from like on the inside as well and goes into your water and that's definitely not healthy to drink and so on a hot day your bottle will melt so definitely a reusable one that won't do that is a good idea um, so I just have this random one. You can literally get these anywhere. Next goes somewhat with water. A snack is a good idea. Let's say on the way there, maybe while you're waiting or you're doing anything and you feel a little bit like a snack crave coming on but you don't 
want to buy a little snack, you can just bring any snack. Literally though, I would bring like a granola bar. Granola? Did I just say granola bar? <laughs> granola bar. <laughs> but I just found these. Like, these are good too. I mean, they're tasty. And these are the ones that you don't have to crack open, literally spit out like you're a bird. Something else that is definitely a good idea to bring with you is money or your wallet. Here's my wallet. It's from Winners, if you're wondering. <laughs> uh, definitely a wallet or some money with you because you do need money to get into the park, money to get food, money to get drinks, money to get anything extra that you want, maybe some cool merch, I don't know, but money is definitely a good idea to have with you anytime, um, just in case of an emergency or you want to get some food because food is an emergency. Next up, sunscreen. I don't care if you applied it in the morning. Maybe you go to a water park, it washes off. Always reapply. Sunscreen is so important. Maybe you don't burn and I don't burn either, but no matter what, you will still tan and or maybe you don't tan, but sun is still hitting you and it can still damage your skin and this is really important. Sunscreen, guys. Sunscreen. Next up is probably like another very important one, your phone or some kind of contact device, a pager, I don't know. I mean, so this is my phone, it's definitely just important to have in case you need to call someone, you get separated from your friend or friends, um, really just a good idea to have with you because it's really good in case for emergencies guys. Second to last thing is a makeup bag. This is definitely not a really essential. I'm being very beauty guru right now. Um, you do not need makeup anytime, really, but sometimes let's say you really feel like you need to wear some. I just have a few good um, products to bring with you. So first I have a facial sunscreen by Bear Republic. This is SPF 30 and um, some people don't like to use the normal body sunscreen on their face and maybe it makes you feel a little weird having like the thick greasy on your face. I know it made me feel, feel weird when I was younger um, but having a facial sunscreen is nice for me because it's a lot thinner on my skin and I don't feel like it's really weighing down my face. Lip balm because your lips always should be hydrated and I mean just a good idea to always have. I always have it with me. Hair ties because my hair ties break constantly. These ones are already breaking. Like they have the rips. Like that is the most annoying thing to me. It's so boochy. I hate when like my my hair ties go like this. This one is just like a little uh, body mist. This is good if you don't really like you shouldn't really be bringing a glass perfume bottle or an actual perfume I think uh, body mist is good just because it's very lightweight not too strong and if you do feel like you're starting to smell a little bit and you want to smell a bit nicer because you're getting really sweaty uh, body mist is a good idea because it's super light and airy and this is wind kissed by essence of beauty and then the last one I have in this makeup bag is some oil absorbing sheets these are clear action life brand these are just some random ones but they work Still, they just come in a little packet like this with a bunch. And then if you feel like your skin's getting really oily, you don't need to powder up. You can just pat this on your skin and your oil will just go away. The last thing that I recommend bringing is only if your theme park actually has a water park or anything that you might get wet in, probably most then because lots of rides has, have water. But I just recommend bringing a bathing suit. Um, so bathing suit and towel is a big must have if there's a water event at your theme park. And um, this is mine. I, I love this bathing suit, but it's so cute. It's like a triangle bikini that's like hot pink and it looks really, really bright and nice. And then just some normal bottoms. So those are all the things that I think you should bring. So now let's just get on to the outfit I'm wearing and maybe you can get some inspiration from even though it is very simple. For the outfit, I am wearing a floral flowy kimono. These are really good because if it gets chilly later in the day, you have something to a bit warm you up. But it's also really cool for the summer. Oh my god, Demi Lovato, are you here? But um, yeah, it's just really good because it's flowy and loose and will not keep you super hot in the summer. With that, I'm just wearing a white tank top because this is just really simple and light and you can wear it with a lot of other things as well. The tank top is from Forever 21 and I'm not really sure where the kimono is from but the bottoms are just my favorite pair of shorts which you've seen before but these are just good because it's really hot and this will just keep you comfortable and cool.
For shoes, I just wore these really comfortable sandals from The Gap and they're kind of crossed over in silver, but I do recommend something that's very comfortable that you can walk around in for a long time in. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you did like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up because that helps me a lot and it lets me know that you did like the video. Also, commenting does that too. Um, I'd just like to thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and watching this video, of course. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you do like my channel because that will just make sure that you always know when I'm posting a video and I post videos every Wednesday, so get ready for next Wednesday's video. Actually, my birthday is coming up, so if you do want me to do a birthday haul, my 14th birthday haul, then you should definitely let me know. And by the way, I know some people are going to ask, my birthday is August 14th. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta!